welcome to um, our call today, um, how to grow your followers so that you can use your influence that you already have. I am excited to host and be part of this with you guys um, and to introduce our two guests. So our first one, of course, is Ryan Garson. I hope I said your name right, Ryan. Um, CEO of Very Social. Um, and I also want to introduce um, Jessica, of course. So Jessica Markowski, I hope I said your last name right, um, close, um, actress, model, and content creator. So we're very excited to have you guys. And Ryan, I'll let you take it away. Yes, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been crazy as um, my followers have, have grown and I have like close to 14,000, um, which isn't crazy, but like those 14,000 like have been with me since the very beginning. And I've to really watch watch my follower growth grow. Um, and then, you know, the way, what I've really done is like created the content to connect with them, um, which has led to business and, and it's been amazing. So um, I wanna talk about, you know, how I grew that following um, and then, you know, what I do to entertain them, to, to bring them part of my life, to see what I'm doing every day, to see about, um, you know, the new listings I'm bringing to market, to see the new, apartments that I'm seeing every day, um, to have conversations about the market, about the buying process, uh, about my personal life, and really bringing them in, connecting with them, and, you know, working on strategies of, you know, how to create the content, because I think that's really the key. And then, you know, we're going to talk about what this is about, you know, how to grow your followers. There's a lot of tips and tricks that we at Very Social have. Um, so I'm super excited to, to be speaking with this with Jessica who's, um, you know, part of my team and she is um, an inspiration herself. She's got over 200,000 followers and she's got some of the biggest um, brands that are, you know, she's partnering up with. And I think she's going to talk about, you know, what it's like to have influence uh, uh, of around 200,000 followers and what she does to grow hers. So, yeah, we're, we're very excited. Jessica, you want to get this presentation going and we can yeah, go over there? share it right now. And so just to kind of give you a little uh, pitch for Very Social, um, we are a social media agency that manages um, social media for brands and entrepreneurs with a focus uh, of real estate. So right now we have over 60 real estate agents um, that we manage their social all over the country. Um, I know I'm super busy um, showing properties, running comps, meeting with sellers. Um, Social media is a full-time job. So to you know, have somebody that just has that skill set um, to, to work with you and collaborate with you to really elevate your presence and let you do what you do best, which is sell real estate. Um, it's, uh, it's been great for all our clients. They've been you know, really doing well, especially in this crazy market. Um, so first, we're, we're, we're giving away a free month on a three-month contract today. So definitely reach out. Um, we'll, you know, we'll definitely take your social to the next level. All right. Um, so you want to, let's move, let's get into the, the presentation. Do you see the presentation? Is it yeah, on yeah. the screen? I see it. I see it. Okay, perfect. So let's move on. Uh, Sorry, do I press the space bar or the arrow to the side? It's not moving. All right. So growing your Instagram, um, you know, I think there's, uh, there's a couple of key components. Um, and I think consistency is, is, is right there. Like you really need to be on it every single day. I know a lot of agents that I speak to that are, you know, they'll, they'll really be, um, active one week and then they'll just take a break. Um, you know, I think that that's one of the benefits with very social is that we put a calendar out in advance, a week in advance, a month in advance and, and, uh, stories a week in advance so it's like somebody's there that's holding you accountable that's actually doing it for you um because it can get your your business as a real estate agent it's not a regular nine to five business you know it, you don't know what's gonna hit you that when you wake up in the morning so really like being consistent is so important jess how many times uh you know are you posting on a weekly basis yeah i think the more consistent i am the way the algorithm works the more it benefits me reaching like the top 
of the category. So, and I'm top of mind, right? The more I post, the more people are liking me and engaging with me. And, you know, they feel more attached with my account because I'm posting more. So the more you do, the better on social media for sure. So consistency is very, very important. That was the way I grew my following for sure in the very beginning. Definitely. And then also, you know, investing in good content. Um, I have uh, a videographer that I work with. I, I do lifestyle shoots uh, once a quarter. You know, Instagram is visual. So having really um, beautiful pictures um, goes a long way. And especially like we're going to talk about the grid. Um, you know, you want your grid to look good and the better the pictures, um, yeah. the more takes, the more people are going to be engaged with you. Um, producing high quality content is very important. Like obviously in the beginning when I started, I didn't have the photographers to work with, but um, then when I started working with photographers, companies will reach out to me because they see the high quality that I'm able to produce. So definitely having, you know, high quality content goes a long way on Instagram. And also you could promote these these in-feed posts, these stories that you do, if you have something that you think is really good that you're seeing, maybe you get a little bit more likes than usual. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you could boost it, you can um, advertise it to a, a, a certain market, um, which gives you even more exposure. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, something that Jess and I really do a lot of, which we'll talk about is influencer marketing, you know, working with other influencers that have bigger followings and kind of like piggybacking them, like having them come to one of your listings or, you know, um, tagging a restaurant that you you go to all the time. You know, you really always want to be collaborating. Um, social media is a 24 seven game. Like you really need to be like, have that mindset. And, and it's a team game. It's involving as many people like Jess, how many people are you collaborating with on a monthly basis? I mean, all the time, whether it's with new photographers, new like you know, influencers, I'm working with a new person at least once, twice a week, um, because that, you know, that benefits you also to grow your following, right? Say I do a post with a friend on Instagram story and we both cross promote, obviously there are more eyeballs on it. So it only benefits you to collaborate with people. And then, you know, what you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. So like commenting on other people's posts, uh, that's really important. In. Um, like the other day, um, uh, somebody reached out to me about a listing um, and she's like, oh, this is this would be perfect for my mom. But it, it didn't have like a, a washer dryer in the, in the unit or something like that. And so then it was her mom's birthday. And so I said, I want to buy I want to find your mom an apartment. And then it like read, it led into a conversation of me, you know, working with her and her mother on finding an apartment, you know, so it's like really you know, being involved in your social, like, see, it's a great way to connect with the people in your sphere. And like just said, like, really being top of mind, but also like seeing what other people are doing and, and engaging with them. Right. And then, guys, it's freaking confusing as hell out there. There's so many freaking platforms. There's TikTok, there's YouTube, there's LinkedIn, you know, being consistent throughout all the platforms, maybe like, you know, picking one or two that you really want to go into. Um, but there's a lot of different platforms that have different markets. Um, so, you know, kind of touching that, like, ju don't just do like Facebook, like, you know, try to like, you know, maybe set goals for like posting once or twice a week in LinkedIn or doing a YouTube video once a month. Um, so those are kind of like my pillars, I think of really like looking to grow your, your um, Instagram. And then we're going to kind of talk about the, talk about it in details. Michelle, am I, I mean, what else, what could you add to this? Yeah, so there was actually a question in the chat box and I just think it's a really good thing to bring up and, and to discuss because I think influencer marketing is super powerful, of course, and, and I came out of that space many, many years ago, but um, the particular question is from Heather and she's asking, how does she incorporate real estate into her content or how would you guys recommend doing so? Because um, she's only had her license, it sounds like for a year and she really, really wants to focus more on the real estate content for herself personally. I think you need to lean in on what you're good at. Like if you know property, uh, if you like to go to open houses and see really nice property, like take, take videos, take pictures, let, um, you know, let your audience know that like you're out there. If you want, if you're really good with statistics and comps and numbers and finance, like talk about the market. Uh, if you're good at interior design, you know, lean into what you're good at and, th and then really create content. Like I'm always really strategic and my team, like we're strategic about, um, 
about what you're posting. We call, we call it our pillars of content, you know, like lean into what you're, you know, really break yourself down. Like for me, like I'm a real estate agent, I'm a dad, I'm into social media, I'm a foodie and I'm into fashion. And I like, I love my city, New York city. So like, those are my pillars. And then I'm like really thinking like uh, of like how I can create content uh, based on my pillars. Jess, you want to, um, let's go to the next slide. Okay. So I already talked about very social. Uh, so let's kind of, let's move on. Okay. This one, right? Uh, yeah, the next one. Next, okay. Next, next. You want to talk about yourself? <laughs> yeah, why don't you talk about me? Okay, so a little bit about Ryan. Um, Ryan is a broker here in New York City. I actually was introduced to him a few years ago. Um, he works in New York, New Jersey, um, New York, New Jersey area, now expanding into Miami as well. But I was introduced to him not too long ago and now I'm gonna be joining the team very, very soon. Um, I'm getting my license, hopefully soon. I'm on chapter number 15 right now. Um, but Ryan is an awesome guy. He obviously works on very social now and sees the need behind how important it is for brokers to use social media. I mean, there are many times that I've worked with Ryan and I did a post in a beautiful listing that Ryan has had. And there are friends that reached out to me. They're like, where is this apartment? Or they asked, is this available? Or I have something for sale. What do you think of Ryan? I saw firsthand the purpose behind, you know, focusing on social media for real estate brokers. And it's, I got firsthand experience in noticing that it's very important for all of you brokers out there to dabble in it. Yeah, definitely. Um, let's talk about, I'll talk about Jess a little bit and I'll really tell the story about how Jess got into real estate with me. We <laughs> did a video just to really create content. I kind of wanted to like, you know, do influencer marketing, piggyback off with, you know, Jess's success on social media. And, um, I think Jess got maybe five or six people saying, oh, where's this property? I'm interested. And she actually gave me, uh, gave me, uh, two serious leads. I pitched like a, a townhouse for like $10 million. And now I'm actually working with a buyer from someone that reached out from her for like $2 million. Um, and that was just like from one video that we did. So I'm always like partnering up with these influencers and creating content, like going to a really cool property, talking about a neighborhood, um, something that like is my strength that I think they, you know, everybody loves real estate. Everyone has a home. Everyone can talk about it. Um, so it's just a, it's, it's a great way to kind of, um, you know, grow your followers and, um, you know, entertain, like entertain your followers. Like that's really important. Jess, why don't you talk about how influencer marketing works and how it can grow your followers? Sure. Um, well, influencer marketing in regards to real estate or just influencer marketing? I think just in your world, in your world. My world. Okay. So, you know, I first started out as a model and actress and everything I ever did, I documented that on my Instagram. And then influencer marketing became relevant in my life because companies started reaching out to me, um, wanting me to promote stuff. And, you know, the influencer world was this new thing and new way for me to like, you know, close deals with brands that I never heard of before. Um, so influencer marketing was just a way for me to expand my business and, um, you know, elevate my brand and you know gain a following um for the most part awesome yeah i i think one of the big things about influencer marketing is that um you know there's so many people there's billions of people on instagram and when you partner up with other influencers you know you get exposed to their um to their audience like we have this partnership i'll talk into more de detail where this this agency that we work with has 20 um instagram handles that have over 200 million followers like houses million dollar listing million dollar lifestyle million dollar mi mindset um interior design and so what they do is they like repost your content on their in feed and in their stories and then they do account optimization where they'll act actually like comment on your um on your uh your post and so like that just gets you more exposure to those um uh, to their followers, which get, gets you more followers and, and, um, 
you know, it's just, it's a great alliance to have. I'm just dying to sell this apartment. Yeah, so that's just an example of some of our influencer, of some video marketing that we, we've we done. Jess, you know what? Let's skip over the videos. I feel like we can just, yeah, okay. we'll just. What about this? Um, yeah, go to the next slide though with Tammy. So Tammy is one of um a very social client and we took her from like 1200 to like 2700 in five months. I, I feel like we double our clients followers Um, and go to the next slide. Mm -hmm. And it's really based on like the in feed posts, like the, the grid is so important. Like this is what people look at before they follow you. So we really like take a lot of time and effort to make sure that it's like it's aligned that pictures are filtered that if you have like a certain color um like it's it's put it's like pictured throughout so like urban digs is a real estate website that we manage and like they have um like little green uh like we'll, we'll do like little green bold like highlights throughout but before we took them over they had like green all over the place everything was green and so we wanted to like just kind of minimize the green and just make it like flow um but these are just like they, these are like what our ideal grids look like and i think it helps because we plan this out like usually a month in advance and you know there's always new content that's happening we'll kind of like bookmark like one or two um dates if uh if something comes up but you know we always try to have the same like aesthetic and feel and this is really important because this is what people look at before they follow you and just a couple more examples of of grids and you know we mix in the grids like it's a mixture of like your pillars of content. So for like uh, Ernest Living, that was Tammy who we doubled her um, follower account. Like she really didn't want to be in the photos. Um, she was just camera shy. So, but she was into architecture. So we did a lot of like really iconic buildings uh, around New York City, some interior design shots, some, um, some market updates, some, uh, some fun facts, just to kind of, you know, really show her as like the expert. Michelle, what do you? What's your thought process on um, on in, the in feeds post? Oh, you're on mute. Dang it! Sorry. Um, so I have a little bit of a different take on on the feed piece of it specifically. In and part of it is because for me, I think the person behind all of this should be involved in in the content. I think if you're scared of being on camera, like what better opportunity to try to learn how to start getting comfortable there, right? This is so, so important because for me to hire somebody, right? As somebody who is consuming Instagram daily as just a normal person, if I'm gonna hire somebody, I need to know who I'm hiring. So um, that's my big thing. I wanna feel like I have some kind of personal relationship with you. Um, whether that's, you know, Ryan, you mentioned you're a dad, you mentioned that you're really into fashion and you're into being a foodie, like in New York city and being able to showcase the behind the scenes of who you are is really, really important. Now, beautiful content is also very important. Um, but I also think that there has to be an understanding that you don't always have to create this perfectly aesthetic beautifulness in order to generate business off this platform, right? And we're talking to realtors who want to generate leads. Um, so use Instagram as an opportunity to create connection and showcase that you're out there pounding pavement, um, and you'll go a really long way. It'll get you far. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Go to the next slide. Um, uh, Jess, um, you know, that's just, an, that's just one example. Tammy is a little bit camera shy, um, but cash is not so camera shy. And, you know, he wanted to connect with his, um, you know, his, uh, his followers too. And, you know, he has a baby, he's really into the books. Um, so, you know, we, you know, I think we adapt to our clients and, um, you know, we know social media, we're experts uh, when it comes to that. Like our, our team is made up of copywriters, um, account, uh, account specialists, uh, artistic directors, and they just, they get social media and they know real estate. So, you know, whatever, however we can collaborate with our clients to really connect with their audience, like we do that. And so per, this is an example of cash before we took over his account. And then we'll show you the next slide, like what, what his, um, like, and so you could just see it's like, you know, that beautiful aesthetic and modern, you could still do that and, and make it personal and still connect, 
go back again, just to kind of, you know, uh, uh, compare and contrast, you know, that you could see how like he went with like the box in red to like the orange, like his color format was like all over the place. So it's like the little details like that, like having a professional that, that could advise and collaborate with you just to really give you a more modern. Uh, and, you know, I think like part of why our clients work with us is for brand building. And like, they, if they're willing to sp spend money on, on their brand in, um, social media, like it just, it shows that they're going to do the same, like with their profession, you know, with, you know, uh, really doing what they need to do to like get the listing sold by having high-end photographers for whatever they need. And, and it's, it's all about the content, you know, like you really need to, it's like what you put into it with the content is what you're going to get out of it. So, um, you know, if you're trying to really like promote your team, you know, having, uh, you know, team pictures or, um, you know, if you want to really get more into videos, um, you know, content is key. And it's something that you could be doing like every day from like, just like going to work to getting coffee um, to, you know, seeing beautiful properties. And, um, you know, staying on top of the seasons like father's day is coming up so we have a ton of content for father's day it's a great way to connect with uh your followers um but you know like christmas thanksgiving mother's day um even like coming it's national social media day at the end of the month like we are really on top of the holidays and the seasons and we create content based on that And like Jess said, like really being consistent, um, you know, these are Instagram stories that we do and you can just see that they're like beautifully curated. They add value with information. Um, but you know, the key is just, just staying with it, staying on top of it, you know, uh, posting, you know, daily with the stories, you know, weekly with the infeeds. Um, we're really, you know, into, into being consistent with our content. And, you know, we're telling our story, like, you know, everyone has their own personal brand and, you know, it's a great way to really let people know who you are is through, um, you know, is through Instagram. Just how do you connect with your followers through, through uh, your content? Sure. I mean, I, I love to show, I love the fact that Instagram now does Instagram stories, right? Like, people get to see the day in the life of me. Um, you know, my, my feed in general, it's very um, aspirational, but the way you see me on Instagram stories is just, I'm a regular girl. I go work out, I go grab a coffee, I handle my moving. Like you get to see the day in the life of me and not everything is always so pretty and perfect. So I do like doing that because people get to see the realness behind the person too, instead of it being so picture perfect, you could still see me without makeup and talking about my getting my vaccination and being in pain or whatever have you. Like you get to see much more and be more related with the person by, you know, seeing a day in the life of that person. You feel more attached with that specific person. And Michelle, what do you think about storytelling through Instagram? Yeah, I think storytelling is the key. And I think the problem with realtors specifically that, that I see through social media is that realtors think that all they have to do is either post perfect pictures or pictures of listings. Like there's there's no understanding of the person behind that. So we've already mm -hmm. kind of talked about that. Um, and Jessica hit the nail on the head there of like why stories is so important is who are you behind the scenes, right? Because that's when I talk to realtors, I say, like I have, if I'm going to hire you, right. I have to be able to think to myself, what's it going to be like for me to sit in the car with you for an entire day going and looking at houses, right? right? Because do you have a personality? Do I like you? Do you have anything that I can find connection with that's going to make that day fun? Um, so storytelling is really, really important because it's the virtual handshake between me and you before I decide whether or not to give you my money. Um, and there's a really good question in the chat box that I'll let you guys answer, but it just asks, um, from Joanna, she says she's a new agent and switched her Instagram from personal to professional. Um, so do you guys recommend separate Instagrams for business only? Um, I know I have a take on that, but I want to hear from you guys specifically what your thoughts are. 
Oh yeah, I, I just think you have one uh, Instagram. And the one of the things that I do love about the stories is that it's only there for 24 hours. So that's like, you know, if you wanna just take like the, you know, random picture when you're walking down the street or you're out to dinner or with your friends or family, or if you wanna like get on camera and like give a hot take on something, like that's the time to do it. And that's where people really get to know you. And it's gone in 24 hours. Like big difference between the in-feed and the stories. Like I think we take the story, the the in-feed a little bit more serious because it's there forever. Like I feel like the in-feed's kind of like your website where, you know, the yeah. stories are more like uh, maybe kind of like a newsletter. You know, it, it's a great way to really connect with your followers more because they're also going to send you a DM pretty uh, probably quicker through a, a through an Instagram story than they would for an in-feed. Like we really feel like that in-feed is just a way to like, kind of like build your followers. It's your website. It needs to look good and, and really have that, that like nice aesthetic where the stories, you can be a little bit more adventurous. And um, you know, especially with like talking to the camera, like talking to the camera on stories, I think it's a really a great way, especially if you have an opinion on a certain topic, whether it be real estate, family, politics, sports, you know, that's where that's the forum to do it is Instagram stories. Yeah. And I feel like Instagram stories, I just get so much like real interaction. Like people ask questions and they want to like know more. And, you know, I usually reply back to the DMS, right? I won't find, cause I get comments all the time. I don't really get personal on, you know, comments, but when somebody DMS me, I will like, you know, spend time talking to you. And that's what makes it much more personable is through stories. So to answer your question, yes, definitely have just one account, I think. There's no reason to have two separate, private and public. I think you just have to like intertwine it both together. And that just goes right off what we said. You know, you gotta be personal, you gotta be relatable. Um, you know, maybe you want to be a little bit more personal and relatable on Instagram stories. Um, but definitely like even this middle picture, like one of our clients, like she's an active like biker, you know, like having, having your hobbies, it's a great way to like connect with, with followers, meeting new people. Um, and a lot of the time, like I said, it's kind of like your website, like people are going on your Instagram before your website. So like, if they see that, you know, you're a biker, you're into yoga, you know, it might be a connection point or a reason why they want to work with you. And then the same with them, because you'll probably check them out on, on uh, IG and then you could do the same. And then I, I'm all about diversifying content. Like I, I talked about my pillars earlier um, and I create content based on that, like just kind of going uh, left to right. I partnered up with um, uh, No Leftovers. It's, it's at No Leftovers. Her name's Jackie. She's a, a food blogger. She's got over 400,000 followers and we go to different New York City restaurants and we talk about the neighborhood. We talk about the food. We talk about the culture. You know, she's the expert on the food. And honestly, it's pretty crazy because like food, social media content is just on a whole nother level. Like just taking pictures with her like of food is I never my mind was blown, but it's a great collaboration that I have. And then um uh, 55 Warren, I partnered up with Brooks Nader. She is Sports Illustrated Model of the Year. She, we did a video marketing listing video and I have over 10,000 views of, on, on YouTube with that video. Um, she has uh, almost 800,000 followers. So she, you know my followers uh, increased when I did the, the, the listing video and it really wasn't that expensive to, to get her. Like we can, we can help source different um, influencers to tell like to tell your apartment story like I'm really big into it it's just another level and especially if you're going on a listing pitch and you have like videos that you've done that you could show that you've had 10,000 views like that's kind of that's the the point of this is like the, the power of having you know getting views and having followers you really have a lot of influence and then um, I do a bagel challenge where I go to different uh, neighborhoods and I, I rate the bagel kind of like a Dave Portnoy kind of spinoff but for bagels um, and then I just did a little view, uh, I, I went to, um, the color factory with my daughter and, and just did a, did a reel, you know, using the different, um, features of Instagram is really important. You know, the in feed, the story, obviously, but then there's, um, IGTV, there's reels and there's, uh, Instagram live. So I think that really helps. Jess, how do you diversify your content? 
Um, how do I diversify my content? I don't really, I keep it consistent. Um, I should be, you know, expanding and, you know, dabbling in new different things, but I like to keep my feed very consistent. Um, I don't go outside of the box really. Um, I know like you sometimes get so comfortable doing things a certain way. Um, and I'm like, I'm one of those people. So I but don't diversify as much as I would have liked. That's the beauty of it. Everyone's got their own brand. Everyone's got their own style. Um, mm -hmm. Michelle, what do you think? Yeah, for me, when it comes to diversifying content, I think you have to be somebody that if you're going to collaborate, right? And I know you guys have a heavy influence or heavy focus on influencer marketing um, and creating these relationships that can be mutually beneficial. Um, for me, when I'm looking at my content, I'm looking at specifically, how am I trying to help people grow their following? The answer is, if I'm going to go spend time engaging on people's content in these particular pillars that you guys have mentioned, and I know Heather in the chat box, she just mentioned food being a pillar for her because she runs a Facebook group um, for foodies in Miami, which is, first of all, Heather, that's super cool. Um, but if you're going to go spend time engaging there, right, on Instagram specifically, because that's something that you really enjoy doing you better yourself have content to match that. That's my take on it. Um, because if I go to your platform after seeing a comment that you left on my post and I don't see anything about any, like whatever that post was about or anything to tell me that you have some kind of connection there, I'm moving on, right? So that's really, really important. Um, in my opinion, as far as diversifying is engage where you want to, right? Meaning engage where you have things that you enjoy that you feel like you can authentically comment and mean it. Um, and also your content itself needs to say, I'm not just a one trick pony. Um, and then I'm actually like a person behind this. And I think we've already talked about that side of it. Um, but I have four pillars for myself that I focus on my family and my, you know, my marriage, my son and, or my husband and I are about to have our first son. Um, and I will tell you that creating the relationship that way I've made more relationships by being very authentic and showcasing that side. Um, I also, you know, talk about my dogs a lot. I personally am a big believer in like pit bull rescues and I've, you know, donated thousands and thousands of dollars to pit bull rescues. Um, so I like to be able to showcase that stuff and allow people to create connection with me there. And I focus on the things that I would really want to talk about in my life um, with somebody are the things I want to share. Um, so I think if you think about that, then, and you put it into your lifestyle content that you're producing in conjunction with your real estate content. Um, and I think you're off to the races. Um, and there's one other question, um, for somebody or for you guys, excuse me, from somebody named Tanya. Um, she says, should you, you guys use, or would you recommend using bright colors or neutral? Um, and I, I assume you guys both have different takes on that. So that'd be, I'd be interesting to, to see. I mean, I think it, um, it just depends on your brand. I, w I will say if you go bright colors, stick with bright colors. If you go neutral, go, go neutral. I mean, yeah. I, I would agree. I would say consistency is key there. Like, don't just be all over the board. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my, I, yeah, I think I'm probably a little bit all over the board. Probably Jessica's a little bit more neutral on the way that, w w what do you think, Jess? Yeah. I mean, everybody's different, right? I have friends who are very bright and like love the hot pinks and the purples and the, um, I tend to stick to much more of a neutral palette, but I think it all depends on your, what you like. At the end of the day, it's what you like and that will make it easier for you to create a really beautiful feed on Instagram, right? If you like neutral, stick to that. Don't be someone you're not. Yeah, I always tell people like when I'm talking to them, I say, your brand is you, right? Meaning like if you're not creatively invested in the content that you're producing, you'll probably stop creating it. So when it comes to creating content, be in love with it. Like, I don't care what brokerage you hang your license with, right? Like if you work with Keller Williams, great, just because it's red and white and gray doesn't mean you have to use red, white, and gray. Um, and I always tell people I'm, I'm kind of a psychology nerd when it comes to colors. It's one of my favorite things to talk about, but um, when you're choosing colors, they mean something and they should elicit emotion from the person consuming your content. So when you're developing a brand, really think about that. Because yeah, I, mean, I have a good example of, you know, when I was first starting out Instagram, I 
I didn't know what my personal style was, right? And I was trying to be some, like some of these influencers that are out there and copying their outfits, but it wasn't authentically to what I was. And, you know, when I like tossed that away and just developed my own style, like my audience loved that. And, you know, that was easy for me to stick through as opposed to trying to be something that I wasn't. Cool. All right, let's move on. We got Jess. Okay. Next. Um, again, you know, Instagram stories are um, the best way to really c communicate and connect with your um, followers. So at Very Social, we really put a lot of time and effort to create that engaging story. So we do a lot of like this or that. Um, we do different rest uh, restaurant takes, different food takes where, you know, we ask a lot of questions. We do polls um, to really engage your uh, followers. And we really, we do that based seasonally, you know, based on the month, based on what's going on. Um, so, you know, that's kind of like what we do for you is like, we take off, like we, since we're thinking, we're always thinking of like different content creation ideas. It's what we do, you know, and then we just, you know, we'll, we'll create the great content for you. And, and this is a great way just to engage with your, your followers. And, you know, we're, we're all professionals and we're, we're, you know, if, we're, if you're listening to this, like you want to really make you make yourself, you want to put the time and effort to really create the content to make you look like an expert. And, you know, we'll help you do that. You know, we have um, the, uh, the skill set to really, you know, edit pictures, do graphic designs and, you know, create the content for you. That, that makes you look like the expert because you're probably too busy to, to really be doing that. I know it, this stuff takes forever. It's really, it's really detail oriented. You know what, go, to, go to slide 26. Let's really get into the growth. Yeah, here we go. We go. No, go back. Mm -hmm. So one of the big things that we do at Very Social, and you could totally do this on your own, it, it just takes a long time, is we find certain um, hashtags, geotags, and popular pages that are in your target market, and we engage on them on your behalf, or you can do that on your own. So like um, Chelsea Market, uh, it's a really popular um, uh, food market in New York. Like we'll go down that hashtag and we'll be like, oh, amazing tacos, or like, I love that place for brunch. And, and then they go back, they look at that grid that we put together and it's, you know, it's a way for you to create more followers. And we would do the same thing for like, let's say like million dollar listing or like uh, Upper West Side townhouses or really popular pages, maybe like, um, like Ryan Serhant or, or Douglas Elliman. We'd go down these, um, these you know, hashtags and, and, and uh, geolocation and you, we spend the time like commenting and, and then, really comes back and and they look at your page and you get more followers that way and you could totally do it on your own our packages start from anywhere from like uh 12 uh to 40 at 40 hours though a month i mean so it's like i don't think you really want to spend 12 hours a month and that's our minimum package like working on this engagement like you can that's part of our service and it really works on on getting more followers you know so it's like obviously you need to start with the content you know you need to have a really good page that's engaging that looks good and then from there you're like all right let's go and get the eyeballs let's go and get more followers like let's run ads let's do the the manual engagement like this is stuff that we do for you let's go to the next page for an example okay yeah and another thing that very social does is um it's called account optimization um, you know, we have over 60 clients. So what we'll do is we'll have our clients engage with you. So when you do a post, you know, you can get anywhere from uh, 10 to 40 comments just from our, our personal network. And, and I think it's like one, usually like comments lead to more comments. So like when somebody sees um, somebody, you know, like, you know, 10 posts, you know, they're more likely to like, oh, they'll, they'll like give you like a thumbs up emoji or they'll say like great listing or like um, congratulations on this. So um, it's a little bit probably more intimidating when there's like one comment on there to be that like second comment. And we've seen this really, you know, this helps with the engagement. It also will get you, uh, helps with the algorithm and get you, uh, you know, on top of like the, um, 
search bar, uh, the, the explore page, sorry, and like the, uh, um, uh, the in feed and in the stories. And then, you know, if you really want to up your game, uh, we have this partnership with Grant Butler. Um, they have um, over, I think, 25 Instagram handles with over uh, 200 million followers. So they have like at houses, million dollar life, home addiction, uh, at real estate. And so what they'll do is they'll like repost or they'll post like a picture of you on their in feed, like um, at a really, at, at like a luxury property, or they'll do that with a story. And then like, people will follow you. Like I'm actually a client and I, I partnered up with them because it really helped grow my followers. And these are like, these are all real estate accounts. So it's like actually my target market. And it also really helps uh, if you have a, like a listing that you really want to push. And it also helps um, for getting a listing. You know, if you can go into, uh, into a pitch and say, you know what, I work with a social media agency that really, you know, uh, it allows me time to sell. And, you know, they're, uh, they're focused on like, you know, upping my game. And then, you know, whenever we, I, I have a listing, like there's always a lot of time and effort to really go into like promoting your listing. And then, you know, you could actually promote these listings on these different, um, um, these different uh, Instagram handles. Like this is like influencer marketing collaboration um, for, for your target market of, of, of real estate. And then they also do that account optimization that I told you about that very social does. Um, but they do that with like houses and at real estate. And so, you know, if you're worried, like uh, some of our clients, like ha and, and, and my account, like I have my clients that are commenting plus the Graham Butler clients, you know, it really gets me like uh, on top of the explore page and it's just a, it's a, a huge boost. And these are just examples of some of their, the pages, um, houses, house addictive, you know, these are, they have hundreds of thousands of followers. So it's really, it's just such a great audience to, to get in front of. So you could reach out to us and we can, um, you know, set you up with Graham Butler and we could work with you on, you know, helping you create the kind of content that'll go on their pages. This is an example of some of the story shout outs that they have, um, the account optimization. Um, it's a great way to promote your list. Um, and so pretty much the packages start at 297 and um, and uh, the silver, gold and platinum and the platinum is about 800. And, um, you know, it really goes by how many stories that you're going to get and how many um, uh, in feed posts. And then the, the account optimization is like unlimited. So every time you post, they're going to be commenting. Um, it's just a really it's a great way if you, you know, you're creating content and you're kind of like stuck at like a thousand followers or 1500 followers and you really want to take it up a notch to like 2000 followers so you know 5000 followers and it's on a month to month basis so you know you could try it out for a month and if it doesn't work no you know you could cancel it but you know it's a great way to really you know level up on you know doing a surplus to like get you more followers so uh, at very social, we are. Um, sorry. Um. So at uh, very social, we are um, offering uh, one free month on a three month commitment. Um. What we'll do is, you know, we manage your social media accounts. So what we'll do is we'll do an audit right from the beginning for you. We'll take a deep dive into what um, you're doing right, what you could use some help in, and we'll we'll kind of really break down like uh, your pillars of content and give you different content creation ideas. Um, we'll do the account optimization for you. We'll manage your page. We'll do all the postings. And the way that the package is different differ is the get seen package starts at 12 in feed posts, 12 Instagram stories, 12 hours of manual growth per month, and then one paid ad. Um, so if you wanted to, you know, uh, boost a listing or something like that, and then uh, the get attention page is you get, you know, all the the management plus, you know, it, it's 20 in feed posts, 20 Instagram stories. 20 hours of manual engagement and you get three um, paid advertising. And we start at um, uh, $1,000, those prices are wrong and uh, the get attention to $2,000. And so for the first month, we're gonna be giving you, uh, we'll, for, we'll give you one free month on a three month commitment. So those are our packages. Uh, we'd love to work with you. We have, uh, we have a bunch of um, lab code agents and we also have a, um, 
a starter package starting at four hundred dollars that um, will uh, will do twelve in food posts and twelve Instagram stories, and it's um, their their main uh, their um, their um, their manual posts. So we'll, uh, you know, it's it's a, it's like kind of a generic post, but it's a great way to really get started. Awesome. Well, we are um, just about out of time, so I do. There was a couple of comments in the chat box just about um, recordings and the slides. Um, so anybody who um, is was not able to attend this, or if you want to go back and watch it again. Um, this is being recorded, so it will be available on the Lab Code Agents YouTube channel. Um, I believe that channel link is in the chat box. Um, I can copy and paste it and put it in there for you guys again. Um, but other than that, thank you so much to Ryan and for your time, Jessica, as well. Um, and if you guys need anything. Um, and also, um, just a reminder, go follow Lab Code Agents on Instagram. Their Instagram um, handle is in the chat box, so feel free to do that. Um, but we appreciate everybody's time for spending time with us today. Um, and we will talk to you guys all soon. Thank you. Bye. Guys. Bye. Bye.